Glory be to Jesus Christ, you guys. Hi. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, brothers and sisters all over the world. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ forevermore. And um, I'm just really grateful to be here to do this quick message, um, this quick series. So let's just go ahead and get right on into it for the precious Holy Spirit and his glory at this time. So you guys, if you haven't seen the intro to this series called Abomination, please go to the intro video, please. So you can get further clarification of what this is really about and what um, the precious Holy Spirit has led me to come on here to talk to you about right now. But I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on into it. So let's just go ahead and get right on into it. So brothers and sisters, if you have your Bibles with you, please do. Could you please go to the book of Revelations chapter 17? Go to the book of Revelations chapter 17. And we're going to start at verse 8. And I'm just going to read all the way to verse 13. And then we're going to come back and, um, to verse 8 and just go through it. So let's go to once again, Revelations chapter 17, verse 8. It says, The beast that thou sawest, by the way, this is John the Revelator, being shown by an angel, of course, the times that we are living in now. And this is also, if you go back up, up a couple of verses in the same chapter right here in the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 5. If you go right here, it will tell you all that is taking place and what this is talking about. This is referring to Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And as you guys know, that would be america the united states of america is mystery babylon i like i always like to call it this is america ain't nothing but babylon's baby sister that's what america is the united states of so-called america is babylon mystery babylon she is the whore and the harlots she is the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth she is the great whore that sits on the scarlet beast but let me go ahead and get on into it right here with the book of Revelations, chapter 17, verse 8. And I'm going to read through 13. So let's go. It says, The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wander, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. Verse 9. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. Verse 10. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen and one is. And the other is not yet come. And when he cometh. He must continue a short space. Verse 11. And the beast that, that, excuse me, and the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. Verse 12. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings. One hour with the beast. And verse 13, finally, these have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. All right, you guys, there it is. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verses 8 through 13. Now, let's go back all the way. Let's go back to verse 8. Let's go back to verse 8 and let's break it down. All right, first and foremost, the beast. Who is the beast? The beast is the Antichrist. The beast represents the Antichrist. And who gives the Antichrist, the beast, who gives him his power? The dragon. You guys remember what I told you in the last message with the movie 2012. If you go back in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verses 2 and 4, it keeps talking about Satan, who is the dragon. The dragon. The dragon gave who his power? The beast. Satan gives who? who these people right here on the screen, these so-called presidents of the United States, really demons in the flesh, fallen angels in the flesh. He gives who their power? Who does he give it to? The beast. 
He gave the beast, Satan, the dragon, gave the beast his power and his seat and his authority. The presidents have what? Power and authority of what? The United States of America. And pretty much according right here, once again, to Revelation chapter 17, verse 5, all over the world, the earth, all over the earth, they are the America, the mother. She is the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, the world, the whole world, period. These right here, Satan's children, they have been given authority by him, their power and their seats and their authority. Let's read further. The beast that thou sawest was. So this beast, this antichrist that is about to come very soon, he was already president. He's already been president. He already been in power. He's already had a seat before in power. Satan has already given him a seat before. That's what this is talking about right here in the book of Revelation chapter 12, 17, verse 8. The beast that thou sawest, he was, was meaning past tense. He was president at one point. He was a king of Babylon, spiritually speaking, a president at one point of the United States. But he is no more right now, currently. He was and is not, meaning he was president at one time, but now currently he is not. And the only ones that fall in that category of seven, like it talks about right here in verse 10, seven kings. You got Reagan, number one, Bush Sr. is two, Clinton is three, Bush Jr. is four, Obama is five, and currently right now, Trump is president. He is right now. He is currently president of the U.S. So this beast is not Trump because Trump is current right now. Until he becomes not, Trump does not qualify to be the Antichrist. So who do you have left on the screen right here? You got Reagan, you got Bush Sr. who is deceased. Reagan is also deceased, so you can cross them out too. Number three, Clinton. Number four, Bush Jr. Number five, Obama. So it's gonna be between those three, Clinton, Bush Jr. and Obama, because it's not Reagan, because he's deceased, it's not Bush Sr. because he's deceased. He just passed last year. And it's not Trump because Trump currently is president right now. And until he becomes uncurrent, until he is not, he doesn't qualify. So it's between Clinton, Bush Jr. and Obama. Let's keep reading forward. And shall ascend, this is verse 8 once again, chapter 17 in Revelations. And shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. So he's going to do everything against the most high God, of course, against our heavenly father and against everything that he stands for. And they that dwell on the earth shall wander, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast that was and is not, and yet he is. Lord have mercy. So those pretty much that are still sleep in the matrix, those that rejected Christ, those that don't have a clue, they don't have an inkling of a clue as to what is going on right now in this wicked, evil earth here that Satan very much is in now. He fell back in 2012. Once again, you guys, if you go look at that message that I made last about the movie 2012, that's what that's talking about pertaining to Satan and those fallen angels. They've been here since 2012. They got booted out of the heavens back in 2012. So they're here now. And he's given Satan as the dragon, giving his power to who? The beast. Who is very much here. And it is between Clinton, Bush Jr. and Obama. Once again, it can't be Reagan. It can't be Bush Sr. Because they are deceased and Trump is current. He is now. So it's not him until Trump becomes uncurrent. He is not it. So who was that would be Clinton, Bush Jr. and Obama. And once again, those that are not found written in the book of life currently, they are lost in this matrix. They are lost in their deception. So when they see either Clinton, Bush Jr. or Obama, because the one either three of these going to come back into power, they're going to come back. They're going to come back. One of these three going to come back. Those that are not written, those names that are not written in a book of life, those that do not love the Lord Jesus Christ, those that do not have a deep, intimate, one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Father, Yahweh, Yeshua, Hamashiach, they are going to be easily deceived. They're going to marvel like, oh my God, I can't believe that he's president again. 
because as you guys know, you can only run for two terms here in Babylon, in USA. You can't run no more than that. And when this person comes back into power, either Clinton, Bush Jr. or Obama, the whole world, those that do not love the Lord Jesus Christ and they're still stuck in the matrix here, they are going to marvel like, oh my God, how is he president again? So let's read forward. Once again, this is in verse 8. The foundation, the names of those who are not found in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast, he was president at one point. That was, and he is not currently, and yet he is. He's going to come back and be president again, and not in a good way. None of it is ever in a good way, but oh, really? He's going to really expose who he really is. That is the beast equaling the Antichrist. All right, let's move forward. In verse 9, and here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. Verse 10. Verse 10 is really important. Let's get into it. All of it's important, but let's really get into verse 10. And there are seven kings. What do you see on the screen right here? Seven kings. Whether they are not or whether they are current, seven kings. Here we go. Number one, Reagan. Number two, Bush Sr. Number three, Clinton. Number four, Bush Jr. Number five, Obama. Number six, Trump, who is current right now. And we don't know who number seven is. Hmm. Number seven. Hmm. Seven kings. Let's read further. Five are fallen. There you go. Reagan, deceased, no longer in office. Bush Sr., deceased, no longer in office. Clinton, still alive, no longer in office. Bush Jr., still alive, no longer in office. Obama, still alive, no longer in office, however. These are the five that are fallen. They were at one point. They were president here of the United States at one point, but they have fallen now. They are no longer in office. Reagan, their time has come and gone. Reagan, Bush Sr., Clinton, Bush Jr., and Obama. Let's read further. And one is... That's Donald Trump, number six. He's number six of these seven kings because he's current right now. And the other is not yet come. That's number seven. So whoever is coming after Trump, he's number seven. And I don't know, but this is what the precious Holy Spirit revealed to me, you guys. I don't know how they're going to do it. As you can see currently, they've been trying to do it since he has been in office, Donald Trump. But they're going to try to do something. I don't know. I, but the precious Holy Spirit revealed to me that Donald Trump will not. This is what's either going to happen with Donald Trump. He he either will not get a second term or they something is going to happen unnaturally to cause him to be forced out of office. Whether it's through like assassination or he might fall sick or ill, death. They might impeach him. As you can see, you guys, that is definitely what they're trying to do to him right now. Currently, they've been trying to impeach him since he got into office back in back in 2017, since he was sworn in. They've been trying to get rid of Donald Trump since then. They have an immense hatred for him. They've been trying to get him out. Why? Because Donald Trump represents what? The calm before the storm. That's why. He represents the calm before this storm that's really finna come up, before all this stuff, as we know, especially as the 144,000, before the son of perdition is revealed. He's really about to, you know, reveal himself, the Antichrist. He already here. And it's between Clinton, Bush Jr. and Obama. But Trump currently is number six. He is the sixth king out of these seven that is talking about right here in the book of Revelations, chapter 17, verse 10. Once again, there are seven kings, five are fallen. So that's the five are Reagan, Bush Sr., Clinton, Bush Jr., and Obama. They are those five kings that are fallen because they're no longer in office. Let's read on. And one is, one is, that's Donald Trump. He's current right now. He's currently the president here. One is. And the other is not yet come. That's number seven behind Trump, behind him. Once again, I don't know how it's going to happen, you guys, but the precious Holy Spirit revealed to me that Don, this is what's going to happen to Donald Trump. He's going to be a very, very short, short term. Either he's going to have just one term. He's not going to get a, he's not going to get elected again after this, or he's going to be taken out of office unnaturally, whether it's through death, uh, impeachment, 
They might try to assassinate him. If you watch The Simpsons with those cartoons, they always joking about it all the time. They always predicted it all the time. Those are some subtle hints right there that Satan was giving right there through those cartoons like The Simpsons and all when they would joke about Donald Trump's death and everything. But either way, he's going to be taken out, whether he resigns, whether he's impeached, Trump will be taken out unnaturally. It's not going to be naturally. He's either not going to get a second term, he's going to be very short term, or he's going to be taken out unnaturally. That's what the precious Holy Spirit revealed to me with Trump. And then let's read forward, verse 10 still. And the other is not yet come. That's number seven down here. We all know who he is or she is. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. So number seven is going to be really, really short after Trump. Whoever is going to be president next, they're going to be very, 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 very short. They're not going to have a long term at all. And why is that? Because the beast is coming right after them. That's why. Let's read on to verse 11. And the beast that was, and the beast that was, it's not Trump because Trump is current right now. The beast that was, meaning that he was president at one point. And the beast that was. So that would mean, let's go back to who? The five kings that have fallen, meaning the five presidents here in the United States. Let's go back to them. Here we go. Reagan, it can't be him. He's deceased. So cross him off. Once again, Bush Sr. can't be him either. He's deceased. Cross him off. But they once were. Cross them off. Clinton is still alive. Cross him off because he is not right now. He was, but he is not. Bush Jr., once again with him. Cross him off too because he was and is not, and he's still alive. Barack Obama, hmm, is alive still and was and is not. So it's going to be, you got to cross Reagan and Bush Sr. out because they're deceased. So it's either going to be Clinton, Bush Jr., or Obama that is the beast, the Antichrist. Let's keep going. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth. So whoever is coming after the seventh, after Trump is gone, and then they bring in the seventh president, who is going to have a very, very, very short term. And likely with the seventh, he is also unnaturally going to be put out of office. After the seventh, either Clinton, Bush Jr., or Obama is going to come back. And at this time, you guys, I already think you all know who that is. But let me keep reading. And is uh, this is verse 11 once again. And the beast that was and is not even he is the eighth. And it's of the seventh. And he's going to go into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings. And also you got ten kings meaning other countries. Other governments of the world. Remember this is. Mystery Babylon, she is the great mother harlot and abomination of the earth. Ten kings which have received no kingdom as of yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. See, this is different countries because they're going to come and join the beast who is the Antichrist. These have one mind. All got that hive mind as we know. They all going to be on one accord with Satan, their father. They all, all the countries of the earth, all the wicked so-called kings and leaders of the earth, really demons in the flesh, fallen angels in the flesh that belong to Satan himself who gives them their power. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. So there you go. Go back to verse 11 right quick. And the beast that was. So it's either, like you said, you got to eliminate. Eliminate. It can't be Trump because Trump is currently, Trump is. Trump is currently president here. So it's not him. Cross him off. Until Trump becomes uncurrent, he is eliminated because he is current. He's currently the president. So it can't be him because he's still in office. So cross him off. He is the sixth king that it talks about in the book of Revelations right here. Chapter 10 is seven kings. Trump is the sixth of them. But these five at the top, these are the five. These are the five that are fallen. They are not in office anymore. Reagan is deceased. Bush Sr. is deceased. And they are not. They were, but they are not. So cross them off. Clinton and Bush Jr. and Obama are still alive, but they are not. They were in office at one time, but they are currently not. So it's either between these three. These three 
are one of them is your antichrist one of them is your beast and after trump is out after they do whatever that whatever's going to happen to trump after he's gone you're going to have the seventh to come and the seventh the seventh will not be in there long either he's not going to be in there long and then either clinton bush jr or obama will return he's going to be the eighth the eighth that's why it says right here in the book of revelation chapter 17 verse 11 once again and the beast he was so meaning he was president at one point in the united states and he currently is not why because trump is president currently but even he is the eighth so he's coming after the seventh and is of the seven so he's what he in here and he's going to go into perdition and as we all know you guys of course i i already know spiritually the precious holy spirit revealed to me who this is and you guys i'm not gonna you know reveal it just yet because the holy spirit wants me to hold off on it and as you may all know those of us who are already awake especially to the 144,000, we already know who this beast is we already know it's as clear as day because if you go back and I'm not going to go into this on this particular part one series in the Obama nation. I'm not going to go into it right now, you guys, because the Holy Spirit wants me to hold on to it. But as you can clearly tell, we all know who this beast is. We know who the Antichrist is. Come on, you guys. It's so blatant. It's so obvious. But once again, for those that may still be waking up to this truth, see, you guys, everybody don't know. And this is why the precious Holy Spirit is having us to clarify it. We must get spiritual clarification. And you guys, please just read these scriptures. Once again, Trump is current. So until he becomes uncurrent, meaning he is not like the Bible says, they are not or they have fallen until he falls, you guys. Trump cannot be the Antichrist. It's not him right now. So cross him off. But you do have five kings of the seven that are fallen. And that is Reagan, Bush Sr., Clinton, Bush Jr., and Obama. They have fallen. They are no longer in office. They were in office at one point, but now currently they are not there no more. Two of them are deceased. That's Ronald Reagan and George W. Bush Sr. So... George Howard Bush Sr., excuse me. So it's Bush Sr. and Reagan. They are deceased, so cross them off. You got Clinton, Bush Jr., and Barack Obama that's left out of the three of these kings that have fallen. One of them is going to return. He's going to return, and this is why people are going to marvel. This is why, like I said, those that are stuck in the Matrix and they're still sleeping and they don't know about this, that's why they're going to be shocked that the beast is back in power because they're like how can that happen you can only run two terms here in america that's why they're going to be shocked and it's one of these three it's either clinton bush jr or obama and we all know who it really is for those of us that really do know come on y'all we know who the antichrist is the precious holy spirit has already already revealed it if you go back into each of their presidencies and see how they were and what they did and you match it up with the Heavenly Father's word right here, it will tell you as clear as day who this beast is, who is the Antichrist, literally Satan in the flesh, in other words. And all the nations around, because this is Mystery Babylon, America, the great whore that rides on the scarlet beast, they are going to cleave to him. He, they are going, he's going to catch the attention of all people, of all nations. And we all know who did that. It's so obvious. But once again, there's a seventh king coming, you guys. We don't know who he is. But all I know is by what the precious Holy Spirit revealed to me with this is he's not going to be in there long. Not at all. So after Trump is gone, the seventh right here, whether he or she, whoever they are, they're not going to be in there too long. Because the eighth which was so that means Cl either clinton bush jr or obama they're gonna return and i already know who it is i already know who the antichrist is i already know and once again you may already know but for those who don't the precious holy spirit wants me to hold off in this series because as we go further into it 
the Lord told me to break it down then and there. But you guys, just starting off with this, this is where all of this is starting from with this series right here. I want to thank you so very much for tuning in. Glory be to the Heavenly Father at all times. I pray you guys will do your own research. Go to the precious Holy Spirit yourself and get clarification spiritually about this. But I love you guys and may you take good care of yourselves. May the Lord always bless you and keep you and I'll see you in the next series. Bye.